We'll be arriving in Bozeman by about 6.03. And the main concerns with this storm are the gusty winds and some small hail. The most dangerous part of this storm is here where you see the pinks and the purples. It's not going to hit Bozeman, but if you are planning on driving over to Three Forks, you're going to want to wait a while because this storm, it's right on top of Interstate 90. With MTN's own Carson Vicroy finishing second, the world's fastest weatherman heads back to KBZK with some new prizes. You may have a few barbecues for your early Memorial Day plans. Yeah, you may want to reconsider because this is what the radar is going to look like at about 6 o'clock. Meteorological fall <laughs> already. Wow, <laughs> crazy. And, and you know what happens two weeks after that in Montana? Uh-oh. Winter starts. Yeah. Got true that. <laughs> are not expecting the Yellowstone or the Shields River here in Livingston to reach minor flood stage, but residents that live along the rivers need to be prepared. And this ice is becoming jammed, which is causing some flooding. When I mean dry thunderstorms, I mean this. Rainfall totals, we're really not going to see that much, but we will see a lot of lightning and thunder from a ridge to a trough and as a result that is going to be like a pitcher and it's going to pour all that cold Canadian air into the area which here's your storm tracker weather forecast with meteorologist Carson Vicroy. Well, today across almost all of southwest Montana, we saw some hail and Sheridan, Montana. It was no exception. Stacy sent me this photo and you can see in the palm of her hand Pretty large hail, that's about ping pong ball sized. And right now across southwest Montana, we're really not seeing all that much. A few sprinkles well off to the north of Butte along Interstate 15. But a few hours ago, it was a much different story. Now I'm gonna show you this real quick. This is over the last 12 hours and watch this storm form in Beaverhead County and then look at all those storm reports that pop up across the area. A lot near Dillon, Sheridan, and Three Forks, Belgrade, and of course Manhattan. They all picked up reports of hail up to golf ball sized. We certainly had a lot of viewer photos of that hail. And you can see this is the storm system that provides us all that rain and of course all that severe weather. It's wreaking havoc on eastern Montana, but this is starting to move out and the saving grace is going to be this area of high pressure. This storm is going to allow this area of high pressure to push into the area, which means Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we're going to see relatively dry conditions. So here's how it's all going to play out tomorrow morning. We're really not going to deal with much. As you can see, that rain is going to stay well off to the north of Interstate 90. But as we head into about 8 o'clock or when you're driving in to work, we're really just going to see a few clouds around. And this is going to be the trend through the noontime hour as well. So if you are planning an outdoor lunch, Go ahead and keep those plans because it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you're a big fly fisherman like I am, you're going to want to try and get out of work early because the weather for it, it's going to be absolutely gorgeous to get out on area rivers as well. Now, here's what we're looking at in the mining city. As you can see, we're not seeing a lot there on Montana Street. The only light we're seeing now, it's not the lightning, it's the street lights because we have clear skies in the area. Temperatures are right at that 50 degree mark and we are in the 40s and 50s. Look at that. Deer Lodge, Montana is sitting at 48 degrees and guess what? It's August 11th, so that is below average for this time of year. I did want to show some of the rainfall totals, and you can see Townsend picked up about 0.72 inches, just over a quarter of an inch for Wise River, and Three Forks even making the list at 0.14. We didn't pick up a lot at Bozeman MSU. That's because most of that rainfall fell off to our northwest near Manhattan and of course Belgrade as well. Temperatures tonight will be falling in to the 40s and 50s. Can't rule out that chance for a few storms early. Highs rebounding back into the 70s tomorrow. Again, mostly sunny skies. If you have the opportunity to get outside, I highly recommend it. And for our eastern counties tonight, temperatures big sky west Yellowstone falling into the 30s. The rest of us will be in the upper 40s, even a few lower 50s possible. And tomorrow, high temperatures are back in the 60s and 70s. And guess what? No rain to speak of. Not only tomorrow for Bozeman, but also for Tuesday and Wednesday. We're going to keep those temperatures below average. And our next storm chance will be arriving Thursday and Friday. And you can see Butte Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. We remain dry. I only have 70s in the forecast. 
but we do have rain back in the forecast Thursday and Friday. And of course, Dylan, you guys will remain dry too through a Wednesday. Another cold front's going to push through Thursday night and a Friday. That provides us with a rain chance. And something I haven't pointed out yet, look at these lows for West Yellowstone. We are going to be in the 30s, and that makes me want to get my jacket out, my uh, fall jacket, I should say, because we can handle the 30s. Yeah, no kidding. You were just talking about going <laughs> fishing on the rivers, and now you're talking about your fall jacket. So. Well, I mean, that's only for West Yellowstone. Very true. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you, Carson.